Today, we're playing Fish and Cats. In Fish and Cats, players will attempt to swipe fish cards, earning them valuable paw tokens along the way. When a player has six or more paw tokens at the end of a round, the game is over and the player with the most paw tokens wins the game. Each player takes one overview card. Return unused overview cards to the box. The four expansion cards are used to bring more player interaction to the game, but it's recommended that you play the first game without the squid cards. Shuffle all the fish cards and form a face down draw deck. Place a number of cards equal to the number of players plus one face up in a white space row next to the draw deck. Place the paw tokens next to the draw deck. Lastly, each player puts their selected kitty paw finger puppet on their index finger. Fish and Cats is a game for two to six feisty cats and takes between 20 and 30 minutes to play. All players will shout out loud, one, two, three. On three, all players will simultaneously swipe a fish card with their kitty paw finger puppet. If you are the only player to swipe on a specific card, you take the card and place it face up in your score pile in front of you. However, if multiple players swipe on the same card, nobody gets the card and it is removed to the discard pile. Discard the card from the card row that is closest to the discard pile. Refill the row of cards and continue playing. If the draw deck is exhausted, shuffle the discard pile to create a new draw deck. After a turn, check if at least one player has collected two different fish types with at least three cards each. If so, players will score their current tableau and check for the end of the game. Each player gets paw tokens for each set of fish in their score pile. A set consists of three or more cards of the same fish type. You score the paw token shown on the cards only once per set, not for each card. If no player has scored six total paw tokens, prepare for the next round. Players discard all fish cards from their score piles, regardless of whether they've been scored or not. Players only keep their paw tokens. Shuffle all the cards and create a new draw deck. Place a new row of cards and resume the game. The end of the game is triggered when someone has six or more paw tokens at the end of scoring. The player with the most paws wins. If tied, they share the victory. Once you're comfortable, add the squid cards for more interaction as they allow you to steal one fish card of your choice from any opponent's score pile. Enjoy playing Fish and Cats!